Hello everyone, Mathrall here and welcome to the weekly update video for RS3. Now this week we see improvement fixes, Ascendance and Archaeology is kind of a uh, coming soon project, but we also see double XP, Victor Trader, a whole bunch of stuff. So <clears throat> Victor Trader is, well he is back, um, so you can see his full stock on the RS wiki. Uh, he'll be sticking around to August 16th, so do check it out while you get a chance. Uh, Double XP is also live, uh, and will end on August 16th. So, you have a little bit of time to go through and go ahead and do these. But we have a little over a week left, uh, so do keep that in mind. But keep in mind that you have 48 hours of Double XP to do so as you choose, so you could pause it and start it anytime you wish. Uh, there is a little bit of a time delay uh, if you do pause it and start it up. So do keep that in mind. Uh, I did find that out personally myself last time. I think there was like an hour cooldown uh, to switch it. Why? I don't know, but there was. Uh, but keep in mind, you still have quite a bit of time left to go ahead and go through and get all your double XP needs as well as visit Victor Trader. Maybe you need a skilling outfit. He's the guy to see. Alright, so coming soon we have the Sentisten uh, Archaeology Mini Dig Site. It's a mini dig site, so keep that in mind. Uh, you'll need at least 60 archaeology to get started in Sentisten. Uh, and the site's Married Wonders should carry you all the way up to level 67. So there's actually quite a bit. Uh, it's going to be a new section of the city, 18 new artifacts to restore, 8 new collections, a new collector named Eblis, uh, 3 new mysteries, uh, four stained glass windows to repair, one site for rune crafting, five new research tasks, one new relic, and a bunch of achievements. So keep that in mind. Uh, the relic is going to be Aurelia's Mask, uh, which will grant you the benefits of the mobile perk for 50 energy. Uh, you'll get a 50% reduction on the cooldown uh, for movement abilities such as Surge and Barge. Um, the catch is that you won't generate adrenaline for those abilities as you normally would but we'll still get a great boon uh, for skillers trying to get around Gilmore quickly and honestly I actually encourage that for people who are fighting the um, Ripper demons I couldn't think of what they were at first because uh, I was actually imploring that strategy of you know fighting them head-on uh, instead of with magic it worked very well it's just if you have any, if you're somebody who lags at all, don't do that way. Actually, don't fight them at all if you're somebody who lags at all. Uh, especially if you're, uh, you know, a hardcore Iron Man. So there is also some Solok changes. Uh, so, Solok now has a 100% chance to drop the Torrent Grimmar pages, which is up from 25%. Uh, as a result, players will no longer be able to roll a 50% chance to get two pages in one drop. Uh, but hey, you're guaranteed a, drop, a page. And added the item cluster of Torn Grimoire pages, a stack of 25 pages with a 1 in 200 drop chance. So, keep that in mind. Uh, we already went over this. Uh, oh, do keep in mind for the double XP live that free to play players. You do get some double XP, well, not quite double XP, but you do get some boost. You will get a 20% increase in your XP. Uh, patch notes. So, we got Elder God Wars Dungeon. The note on front is the highlight of it. Uh, but the improvements are a lot of hot fixes. Well, there you go. There's a lot of hot fixes that are below here yet, too. Uh, but first up is the drop rate on Ress's journal has been increased. Fixes the dyed versions of the fractured staff of armadillo are no longer tradable. The Pontifex Shadow Rink can now be reclaimed from Zanadra in the Sentistan Cathedral. Uh, attack options will now be hidden on Karapek during his death animation to make looting easier. Added a 1.2 second anti spam to the warp time ability to prevent spam clicking from accelerating it. Uh, cooldown indicators on various abilities from the node on front have been made more opaque for better visibility. Clue scroll drops will now drop with the rest of the loot piles in the care pack encounter. If a player attempts to stand between 
uh, beneath Carapec during the Shatter mechanic, the Time Thread Terror will now pick a random direction to fire in instead of not firing at all. Uh, added a check to Carapec's magic attack to stop him dealing damage while he's in the process of dying. The Staff of Armadillo's special attack is now affected by the Alter War of Wars cooldown reset. The Greater Concentrated Blast ability animation no longer shows the player held in place if, the, if they attempt to move while casting. And the rest of these are hotfixes. Uh, the maximum number of players able to join an instance of Carapex of the Bound is now capped correctly. Poison no longer bypasses damage caps when Carapex transitions through phases. The Died Fractured Staff of Armadil will now retain its die when transitioning to certain states. Uh, drop from the Nodon, oh, drops from the Nodon will no longer appear under Siege Engines. Iron Man will now be awarded drops and progress on their Slayer task when using the Siege Cannons against the Nodon. Uh, the Warp Time ability from Carapec boss fight will no longer trigger or re-trigger upon leaving the instance. The extra damage from the Dwarf Multi-Cannon upgrade kits will now be applied after the upgrade has been unlocked. Carapic will now attack straight away after transitioning into Phase 4 on Hard Mode. Uh, Carapic can no longer be damaged during phase transitions. The Staff of Armadillo's special attack will no longer give uh, extra spell cast via non-ability based critical hits. And Iron Man will now be a reliably receive loot and XP from Carapic. And now for the past system changes. So the Activity Tracker Archaeology Tutorial. The Archaeology Path will now progress as expected. The Breaking the Seal Archaeology Mystery Achievement is now free to play. Remove the Assistant, Associate, Professor, and Guildmaster qualification achievements from the Archaeology Path. Uh, the path now completes upon breaking the seal and entering the Carrot It. Qualification intern hint trail now leads to the Acting Guildmaster Reninger instead of the entrance to the Archaeology Guild. Uh, the Archaeology Path hint trail is now su uh, suppressed when following the Archaeology Tutorial, which has its own trail. Uh, activity Tracker Achievements, so remove the Lumberge Achievement Path Book. It will be returned when the path system is rewritten or removed. Um, the Work for Idle Hands Achievement has now, well now has entries for taking each statue, uh, as well as delivering them to Xenia. The Dungeoneering Path has been moved from the default path book, to the Burthorpe and Taverly path book as it points the players to the Taverly docks. Improvements are path rewards are now displayed in the central pop-up which also describes the completed path. This will replace the previous pop-up. Certain interfaces are no longer zoomed into full screen on mobile. When on path containing dialogue choices, the first choice will be selected by default in cases where the player taps out before making the choice. Uh, clarified and standardized the text for choosing a path in Turiel's dialogue. Uh, the leather crafting path is no longer requires the player to pick up cowhide before unlocking it. Uh, improve the user's interface tutorial when choosing a path via I want to choose a different path dialogue. Users will now be able to uh, will now be forced out of the troll cave if they disable the guidance system during the Morningstar instance. Uh, the area outside of the Burthorp uh, Troll Cave is now a little less gloomy. Uh, fixes your path will no longer clear upon teleporting to Tutorial Island. Should you lose your weapon following through the Tutorial Island or Davidel tutorials, uh, you'll now be able to claim it back from Turiel. Uh, address several issues during the collections portion of the archaeology tutorial, which stem from the collection logs being converted from uh, a model to overlay interfaces. New players are no longer kicked from the Birthorp path when they are given a or well, when they gain a total skill level over 100. While on the mining and skilling path, uh, mining and smithing path, sorry, uh, players will now be directed back to the Birthorp mine if they create the wrong item. Uh, prevent the dwarf weed instant sticks from transporting items to your bank while in the item restricted areas. Environment improvements, 
uh, adding new lighting in the Scytherid Abbey's cellar, fixes a variety of rocks and pillars in Liette have been made more solid and can no longer be walked through. A uh, ladder in the outpost in the north of west of Ardone is no longer visually blocked by ground decorations. A selection of the fence in the east of a rock has been updated to match other fences. Wooden props in the Birthrope Castle now fit snugly against the wall. A rock blocking access to the source of the Rogue's Purse herb has been removed. You may no longer walk into a hole, uh, into and hide inside the rock near the ruined Temple Agility Course. Updated the EQ maps for Shattered World maps uh, to increase realism on certain materials. Mobile improvements are added a scenery border uh, to the first cutscene of the Hunt of Surak mini quest, and added a scenery border to the tower cutscene from the Grim Tales. Fixes affixed a mobile specific black screen issue at the start of the Hunt for Surak cutscene. Other improvements are withdrawing materials from the metal bank in the wilderness will now trigger a warning uh, informing players that they will not be able to deposit possible that it will not be possible to deposit them again during combat in the wilderness. So basically, if you're in combat, you can't drop your items into that quick. Uh, added a left click option to fix the lighthouse uh, during Horror from the Deep. Text in the pet's wardrobe interface has been made brighter and easier to read. The beach has been packed away for another year, by which time they might have to get all the sand out of their swimsuits. Fixes. Uh, fix a typo associated with the Charharn pickaxe override. Uh, reverted some of the chat messaging well, message spacing changes. Stephanie the Seagull, pet's icon in the player in house menagerie, now portrays her instead of a yak. Uh, the use all function now works with consistently across XP items and free to play. You must now bow to Yuri in order to speak to him when completing medium clue scrolls. Uh, pets unchecked outside the player in the house are now properly rebooted from the menagerie. Pets added to the menagerie from the backpack are now properly stored and displayed in the player in the house after leaving and re-entering it. The full Slayer Helmet's aware and activate options now work correctly. When hatching multiple eggs, you will now collect the uh, correct hatchlings from each incubator. Dr. Navinix, I want to talk about Mysteries Dialogue option has now works correctly. In progress, urns can no longer be stored in invention machine inventories. The Make X interface uh, for the Fletching Ogre Bows now says that the Grish the Shaman must teach you how to make one. Uh, and an info option has been added to close doors in Dungeoneering. When used, you'll receive a type of message with the type of key your party needs to progress further and whether you already have the key required. Portents of Restoration are now correctly consumed when the player's HP drops below 50% after standing on the Gravekeeper's Poison Pools. Uh, characters and objects will no longer float in the Deep Sea Fishing Hub. Presumably, this does not, attract, uh, does not affect the fish. Uh, the correct player will now receive XP when assisting in the creation of Primal Extract. Implings can no longer fly into towers through walls and closed doors near the Imperial District and Menifus. The Thaler Shop no longer deducts currency if the purchase fails due to a full backpack. Upon using the Illuminate Injector, all forges and furnaces in the area will now change color from orange to blue as expected. The slow-mo walk override will now consistently display your worn main hand and offhand items. Fix a blocking issue with Trindy and Ali the Wise in the Archaeology Guild. The Greater Fury ability will now work in PvP encounters. Skeletons spawn during the Terraquette boss will now trigger the Ruthless perk if killed by a player. The latest fruit trees will no longer give players double XP when the farming skill cape is equipped, only during a double XP thing. Uh, uh, using the Reaper portal while care pick task will now correctly teleport players to the Colosseum gateway 
And melee if area of effect abilities will now correctly hit NPCs larger than a 5x5 square when attacking them or when attacking them away from the southwestern corner of the NPC's hitbox. Upcoming live streams we have one on Wednesday, August 11th, 1600 game time, digging into Sentestin archaeology. Uh, community, we got RuneTube, we got Macaroo's channel, do check it out, it's a normal mode care pick, full guide and mechanics. And we have some magnificent memes here by uh, use, oh, I'm going to say probably user, but it's u-na-sao. Uh, then we have a screenshot of, well, no, this is a meme. The note on front, and you have Carapec facing you, and then the note on back, which is is behind. And this is by Silent underscore Giant. And then we have another one here. Why is it when something ha uh, happens, it's always you three, and it's Carapec, and then you have, you know, obviously the player, the Ward Guardian. You have Saren, and I feel bad for not knowing who the other one is, but it's a Harry Potter meme. Uh, it's by Panda Portal 121. And we have a Presley awesome art, of course. Uh, you just can't, you can't top Presley. And we have a Pink Skirts event. So uh, there's a Town Square Q and A, which is going to be hosted by Steve 20058, Lanks Lanks, and Safira. Uh, date and time is Monday, August 9th. Uh, 2021, 2015 to 2115, so there might be a little bit of time left. Uh, World 3, Barack West Bank, and then we have a King Block Dragon Boss Mass, uh, hosted by Naruto 1001 and Jacob the Pleb. And that'll be Sunday, August 15th, uh, 1900 to 2000. And that'll be on World 11, location the Edge of Lodestone. And then we have some more screenshots here, one first up by Plagos, and then we have one here by, that's actually a very good one too. And then we have another one here with a little bit of an animation to it for Zero Draggy. And then we have a, another one by a kinky chick who, who uh, took a picture of her lovely farm. Uh, but that is actually it, other than the, of course, the official RuneScape uh, subreddit is actually under the community shoutout this time around. So, <clears throat> that's actually it for today's update, though, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later, guys.